in a vivid display of the horrors of war. <laughs> Ukraine is accusing Russia of bombing a maternity and children's hospital during a ceasefire designed to let civilians escape. President Volodymyr Zelensky calling it an atrocity. It comes as Vice President Kamala Harris travels to Poland for a trip meant to show unity with allies, but complicated by a public disagreement over arming Ukraine with fighter jets. Poland wants to donate the jets, but have the U.S. deliver them in a plan U.S. officials called untenable. Departing from a U.S. NATO base in Germany to fly into airspace contested with Russia uh, over Ukraine raises some serious concerns for the entire NATO alliance. The U.S. and allies promising to keep sending weapons to Ukraine. They need things like stingers, javelins, the air defense, anti-tank. Those types of weapons are what would be most useful in this moment. Secretary of State Antony Blinken stressing he's convinced Russian President Vladimir Putin will fail, noting his increasing isolation as Western leaders step up sanctions and many of the world's biggest companies pull out of Russia. Russia. What we're uh, looking at is whether or not uh, President Putin will decide to try to finally cut uh, the losses that he's inflicted on himself. President Biden looking to cut the pain here at home as a U.S. ban on Russian oil sends soaring gas prices even higher. On Capitol Hill, close to $14 billion in defense and humanitarian aid for Ukraine working its way through Congress as part of a massive spending bill. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. Ukrainian officials also were raising the alarm today about a power outage at the Chernobyl nuclear plant that's now under Russian control. Though international monitoring agencies are saying there is no critical impact on safety at the site as of now.